Top Gun. Uh, it's a uh, brainchild of Frank Tiano, who passed away in 2021. Um, this, this is the 35th year. Uh, Frank Tiano is a legend. He's a big time scale competitor, and um, I'm glad that I'm able to compete in this event that he started back in 1988, 89. It's the 31st year, so his wife Carol's keeping it going. Um, great event, lots of competitors, lots of scale modelers, uh, you know, making airplanes shrink <laughs> in scale size to, to look just like the real thing. The spectators are out here or from out of town. Um, some of them are camping, but you know, they're buying food, they're buying hotels, they're buying gas, they're going out into the shops, they're, you know, eating uh, out. So, I mean, it's a great, any event like this is great for a county, you know, and it doesn't, it's not, may not be the biggest, may not be the biggest event that generates revenue, but it does generate revenue. So, and that's, that's great for the community. a Bearcat and an F8 Bearcat. It was about an 80 inch wingspan and I'm flying in the electric duct fan class with a F4 Phantom that I did up as Colonel Robin Olds in the 8th TAC fighter wing when he was in Vietnam. I probably got over 300 flights on it. I've been flying it since uh, June of 2018. I've changed the tire four tires four times. I have some turbine airplanes, I have some electric ducted fans, I have some you know World War II stuff and I have some World War I stuff too. And the World War I stuff is fun to fly, but it keeps you on your toes because it, it is literally stick and rudder. And um, so I don't put any gyros in my World War I stuff. I just wanna play with the air and <laughs> see what it's given me and, uh, and just react and be quicker than the wind. You know? But the, the gyros that they do have, their flight stabilizers, they help out a great deal uh, to make your plane track better. It's, it's actually a little bit easier and fun to fly. So there's a little accelerometer or whatever it is in that gyro that keeps uh, uh, the airplane straight and level most of the time. And then you still have to fly the airplane, so you still have to do your maneuvers and all that stuff. But what it does is, so if the wind's kicking you around, it's taking care of that before you can even take care of it. But it's a great hobby, it's a great constructive hobby. It's great for kids. I started when I was 14. I turned 57 next month, so I've been doing it for a long time. Uh, if, you're, if you're retired or if you're working or if you're a, a kid and you wanna <clears throat> come out and learn how to fly, it's, it's not impossible. So the Imperial RC Club is our club here in um, Polk County. And uh, we have uh, a, an instructor we have, a, we have a plane <laughs> that the students can use. So you can come out to Imperial RC Club, get with our instructor, Jeff Hughes, and he'll give you some flights without you spending a dime. So um, you can just see if you like it. And Jeff will walk you through. He'll give you like several flights, not just one. And then if you like it, then he's gonna tell you what to buy <coughs> so that you um, are not uh, spinning your wheels, wasting your money, you know? but. If you're going to do this hobby, get an instructor. The instructors are free. Just join the club, and um, that gives you insurance, and then it gives you people that will teach you how to fly. Yeah.